As wildfires burn in Manitoba, smoke fills the air for hundreds of kilometers, a danger to local residents' health, but for reasons you may not realize. There is um, the potential for people to be breathing in things that, that might cause infections. Pathogens that could make you sick. By launching a drone into a wildfire, Lita Kobziar, a professor of wildland fire science at the University of Idaho, found as soil, plants, and animal matter burns, it exposes thousands of bacteria and fungi. Surviving the heat, she explains, these organisms get picked up and sent into the air. Essentially, you know, smoke acting as a biological conveyor belt um, that is that is spreading biodiversity around the world. We can see that they're there. Whether or not they are able to infect somebody is a different question. But for Dr. Don Sin, it's not a question. There's no doubt about that. The Vancouver-based respirologist sounded the alarm last year, concerned about the spread of COVID-19 amid wildfire season. And while it hasn't been proven the virus could travel in smoke, Sin says the theory makes sense. There have been some smaller studies showing that they are well uh, carried by uh, part, uh, particle matters and air pollution particles. He's hoping to see it studied further. A heavy lift, according to the BC Center for Disease Control. There's no way we'd be able to say they got it from the smoke <laughs> unless we could, you know, do whole genome sequencing on the virus in the smoke and whole genome sequencing on that individual and anybody else around them. The focus for Kobziar and her team is to confirm whether the hundreds of pathogens they found are in fact harmful to humans. The hope? To be prepared in the face of any new illness hitching a ride. Jamie Marocker, Global News, Toronto.